I'm Peter. Um, I'm a partner in Livid Instruments, and this is our stuff. We have full controllers, DIY controllers, project pieces, modular control parts, multi-faceted circuit boards, and sidecars that can be integrated in the expansion jacks of our controllers. And then I do lots of stuff in Max MSP. This is video software, cell DNA. We also have the editor for all of our software to change the programs of MIDI settings on the, soft, on the hardware for all of our products. This is using Jitter to send text to the LEDs. And here is some of the source code for the video software. And that's the pretty stuff. And that is the editor. And you can see that this one is playing a QuickTime movie, reducing it to 3-bit color and sending it to the LEDs of the RGB controller. <laughs> Hi, I'm Randy Jones from Monroe Labs in Seattle, Washington. My science fair exhibit is about our friend, the capacitor. And capacitors are great for a lot of reasons. I was wondering if the beaver's tail is a capacitor or not. We haven't answered that question. One application of capacitors we found is the sound plane. It's a new instrument that's available for Madrona Labs. And what it is is a touch sensitive, multi touch interface for playing computer music with the sensitivity and feel of an acoustic instrument. So I've used Max to develop it, and the community's been really supportive of my work, and I'm really happy to be here at the Science Fair telling people about the sound plane. Sequencer, where there are 12 tracks. You can see the numbers scrolling past here. And the software means that each track can be a different software plugin, so it's a very heterogeneous. There's four tracks of step sequencing, four tracks of uh, MIDI continuous control. Look at the step sequencer. We have several pages including basic transpose, like a slider. Step length and then note gating, note triggering, pitches, uh, tape transpose, and this is feeding MIDI through Max into Ableton. So we're step sequencing this. Then the arc is working as a simple MIDI controller. So if I select one of the effects here, then you see the straight MIDI control. And the animation here is just showing beat drop, so it's just showing the sequence running. And it's synced with the uh, step marker on the uh, one. I'm Jeff Snyder and I'm showing the Snyderphonics Manta, which is a controller that I've built. Uh, it's a capacitive touch controller that talks USB to the computer, telling about what sensors you're touching and how much surface area you're covering on them. It sends it all as USB data to the computer where in Max MSP there's a custom object called Manta that you can download and then get all the data out as a stream. <laughs> And you can also send from the computer data about there's LEDs under every key, and you can send data back to control the LEDs.